Let's find some engines. That'll do. Listen, I've been running the numbers. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get airborne. <laughs> well, this place is a flying trash can anyway, so... Hey, speak for your own stuff. I got some nice things. Guns can be nice. Ah! Oh, please don't drop me this. Well, they didn't burst into flames. Time for round two. As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. Oh, this creature doesn't want a midnight snack. Last thing we need is for the acid level to rise. I think we should dispose of Neb. No, Drax, she stays with us. But it hardly makes any. No, Drax. Hey, Rocket. I want you to go easy on Gamora. Okay, she's. Yeah, okay. I know when to back off. Drax, how's the unloading going? I keep tearing objects off of the bridge, but Rocket says they are essential to life support. Yeah, um, why don't you check with him next time? Mora. It's a real mess we're in. Everything I touch, I'm toxic. You're not toxic, Gamora. A stomach? <laughs> That's toxic. Thank you, I think. Rocket. Any ideas on how to move these engines? My boots won't be able to. It's an engine, Pete. Just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Had to put in some elbow grease. Which sounds gross now that I think about it. Careful, Quill. Hey, I'm doing my best out here. Great. Now I'm inside an upset stomach. There's a rhythm to it. Mortorium. Ugh. I don't give you indigestion.
What's up, Gamora? Groot never cleaned up his disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. Maybe Rocket can talk some sense into him? I'll see what I can do. Oh, man. I'm not gonna be able to get anything off of this one. Hey, Rocket. Make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Ah, uh, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that barf out of there, finally. You know, I'm flying over deadly stomach acid, yet somehow you're the one that grossed me out. of Nebula's cyborg parts. No! Great. More rocks in my way. Bingo. Drax. Yes, Peter Quill. Have you gathered the necessary components to eject us from this beast? Not yet. What about now? Rocket, what's up with these boots? I thought you fixed them. I made a valiant effort. There's only so much you can do when parts are scarce. Incidentally, we're gonna need to replace our plumbing when we get back to nowhere. Either way, stop complaining. What's up, Drax? I trained my Camaria to be a warrior, like Thanos trained Nebula. Still, I am confident she would not have fallen down the same path. How's the rest of the crew doing? We are arguing about what to jettison. Get back as quickly as you can. Rocket. Any luck lightening the ship? Gamora says if I go anywhere near her room, she'll cut off my head. It's a work in progress. Rocket, what gives her the moon lately? I ain't got a ton of interest in dying right now. Can you blame me? Gamora, talk to me. I'm just glad Nebula said how she felt. I needed to hear it to believe it, you know? <sighs> Let's go. Kinda busy, Pete. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so... Yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just... <laughs> just curious. if I do.
Bingo. Sounds like progress. 